to be uh, here. I've done Rose Battle for three years, and I never thought I'd be getting to roast the mom from Freaky Friday. That's just like... <laughs> yeah, that... Yeah, celebrity drop in here. You guys should feel lucky. Um, <laughs> Stephanie looks like her pussy feels like Polly Pocket rubber. <laughs> All right, first one, first one. Okay, okay. I got that grippy pussy. <laughs> I mean, I got it. I got Squeaky, you know? Okay, all right. Oh, my God. Emma, I really love standing next to you. You make me feel so tiny. <laughs> yeah, looking at you reminds me of my body dysmorphia. <laughs> <laughs> all right! All right, okay. Look, you guys, we need to start spreading the truth. It was not Stephanie that bombed for 30 minutes on Kill Tony. It wasn't. That was an AI. <laughs> Stephanie would never show that little comedic talent in front of that many people. It was AI technology. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. Yeah, All right, it, bitch. We're going to uh, yeah. level up. I promise. They're going to level up. We all bomb. Okay. We all bomb, everybody. As everyone on this show has. So we all... <laughs> We've all experienced it tonight. We all live in one world, and it's more bad comics. I, uh... Okay, I'll, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Uh, <laughs> this is hard, man. <laughs> uh, dude, your voice is so weird. Uh, I, yeah. Your voice sounds like you ate bad pussy. Uh, <laughs> it looks like you ordered pussy, and the secret ingredient was chlamydia. Like, I don't... Yeah, that's good. That's Sorry. funny. Um, <laughs> Stephanie's mom uh, uh, died of cancer, uh, so I, I have to believe you know it's like like that makes you like a like someone who's like more mature and capable of like loving, you know. What? And I think it makes a lot of sense because that's like why she has like a fat boyfriend and it's and it's okay, you know, even though he looks like a tumor, you know, it's okay. <laughs> She can look past that. Yeah. Emma, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Emma, Emma's gay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, uh, <laughs> Emma's gay. It's, dude, it's crazy. You don't get more, uh, you're, <laughs> dude, fuck you. I, uh, <laughs> you guys threw me off battling. It wasn't worth it, all right? <laughs> it Your boyfriend looks like a tumor. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> You sound like you're growing a tumor in your throat. Like, what do you? I, uh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a larger uh, woman, and uh, I'm a Amazonian, I guess is what they call it. She actually, she actually has to take mood stabilizers. Well, actually, she doesn't take them. A man from across the jungle blow darts them into her ass. <laughs> uh, speaking of ashes, when I. Uh... When Stephanie eats her, her very fat boyfriend's ass, uh, together they, they actually look like a lollipop. It's kind of cute, you know? It is cute. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a fat man's yeah. asshole? Only Stephanie knows. Well, actually, no, it's, it's the whole Robertson family. Also, her gay brother licks yeah. a lot of fat ass. It's in, the, it's in the DNA. Her dad's gay, too. All right, anyways, anyways, anyways. A lot of fat ass is getting licked. <laughs> a lot of fat. I'm not the only one with throat chlamydia, okay? <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. You're so mad for some reason, right? You're so aggressive. I'm sorry for interrupting your transition from Fiona to Shrek. <laughs> sunset away from becoming a big ogre bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, that's, that, that's a good one. And, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, you know, I think there's fair amounts of, you know, anger up here, you know, it makes, it makes, I, I would feel, you know, cause like, it, it's gotta be hard, you know, when it's like, cause like, you know, you're like, you're, you're, you're cool, you're hot and you like, you know, it's like, you're easy to be around. So it's like, the fact that you haven't made it in comedy must mean you really don't have it. <laughs> no, you really don't have it. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, it is easier to make it in comedy when you look and sound like a boy. So, uh, they like men. They like men in comedy more than uh, hot women. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. God, yeah, you look like... Uh, <laughs> 
Sorry, you look like uh, you just got done filming 13 Reasons Why I Need Gender Affirming Surgery. <laughs> okay. I really like having a pussy, I do. <laughs> Doesn't sound like um. it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you just gotta stretch those out when you get hit with something. Ooh. All right. You sound like you're growing a penis as we speak. Like, what are you doing? What's going on? I'm on <laughs> Stephanie moved back in with her dad recently. Um, which, like, you know, like would be be sad, but it's actually a, a fun new chapter in her life because now that her mom is dead her and her dad can have sex openly and that's cool <laughs> yeah you're his type so don't come over <laughs> uh, last joke oh my god I don't know I fucking Emma is what happens when your mom gets pregnant doing anal I don't, I don't know anymore <laughs> A drink of water in my mouth is so dry. It just dries me out. <sighs> it's almost over, you guys. It's it fun. is. It is almost over. Yeah, you're right. That last joke did not make sense because I already said your dad was gay. Um, yeah, what? So I realized that last joke I said did not make sense. I gotta. You know, they say that like you know, being gay runs in the family. That is like a thing. You know, like like both my siblings are gay. You know, I think it runs in the and, and, and like. So you're like, dad came out as gay. Your mom's, your mom's dead, so we can't know. Your brother's gay. And I have to wonder if you're like in the in the closet too, and and that's why you're dating just like such a fat man, because <laughs> his thighs are so big and his taint so large that it just folds everything together into a man pussy that you can eat out. And, I just like I, I try, I'm trying to understand, and I think it's the fat man pussy. <laughs> your your logic is that I like more man. <laughs> no, you like folded up man pussy. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> fat sweaty man pussy, and I actually think it's you know it's, it's good. It's it's calor calorically dense sweat, you know, Cal calorically dense sweat, so you can. Keep the keep keep your calories up. It's good. That's the roast. Make some noise for calorically dense sweat pussy. Woo! Oh man, that was uh, that was something. All right. My mouth is so dry. Water. <laughs> All right, it'll be a few seconds. Let's uh, let's go to our judges. Chris Greco, let's start with you. What do you think about that? Oh man. <laughs> You guys, should, I wish you were sitting where I was. You should have seen Brooks the whole time stare, like studying what was happening. He was enamored by the social nightmare that was unfolding on stage. Um, you guys don't know uh, Stephanie the way I know Stephanie. Uh, you have no idea how much she needed this. This was fucking amazing. Stephanie, you dominated her in the way that only my bookmarks and my incognito tabs can Thank tell me. Um, uh, you, you had 71, uh, but great job to both of you. That was very creative and interesting to watch. All right, one vote for Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, Emma, you're... Your stage persona is dumb eighth grade bully. Oh, okay. You just keep being like, she's dating a fat guy. <laughs> uh, and Stephanie, you won, but Emma, I think that you will be the most famous person in this room in two years. Thanks. I guess I no, you're gonna, it's, you, whatever you're doing, keep doing it, because it's fascinating. <laughs> you can't look away. It's really fascinating. All right, another vote for Stephanie, but Emma's fascinating. Courtney, let's hear from you down at the end. <laughs> well, it is fascinating. I loved this battle. This was amazing. Uh, Emma, you're so very clearly in love with Stephanie. <laughs> we gotta call that out. She knows way too many details. That's how lesbians hit on women. They're like, your fucking fat loser boyfriend. <laughs> I could treat you better. <laughs> <laughs> It's so obvious. Uh, no, 70 killed the body dysmorphia. Mood stabilizer was my favorite fucking joke. The dart thing was hilarious. Yeah, you guys look like Spencer's versus Gap at the mall. That's true. 
daddy issues versus mommy issues played out in real time. This is beautiful to see. Um, yeah, no, definitely Stephanie won it with the jokes, but I really do love you, Emma. That was great. All right, I don't know for Stephanie wins the roast. Michael Regan, let's hear from you, man. Uh, Emma looks like she was Stephanie's sister last week. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, guys, I... It's just happening right now. I want to get... Yeah, I made it weird again. Uh, Yo, that was weird as hell, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking weird, dude. Uh, uh, Emma looks like... Know if that person no, said. it's fine. I won. I uh, yeah. <laughs> good. We can take it from there. Well, actually, I was gonna give it. To, I was gonna give it to Emma, Stephanie. Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, Eleven p.m. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> My fat boyfriend is about to turn into a pumpkin. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, I'll go fuck myself. Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. All right, Tyler, just because I have to, what do you have to say, man? Uh, that was uh, really uncomfortable yeah. <laughs> to watch. Uh, I thought you were both great at, at times. Um, Emma, that was really mean. I didn't know you could be like that. Uh, but I, uh, no, I, I, uh, I, I, well, the thing is that you guys don't know. Stephanie, her boyfriend is really fat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. He caught, there's never been anyone that caught more strays in a <laughs> fucking yeah. battle than him. Yeah. Uh, he's very funny and great. By, uh, all right, I'm going to leave. Um, Fiona to Shrek was hilarious. Uh, Stephanie, you win. Uh, yeah. Give it up for them, guys. Great. All right, that's the battle. Make some noise for them, everyone. <laughs> all right, how about a round of applause for our panelists, Brooks Wheelan, Chris Grieco, Tyler Horvath, Michael Regan, Courtney Albers. And one more time, make sure to the hardest work people in the room, your wait staff and service staff, make sure noise for them. All right. Uh, after the show, we're going to be selling some merch down by the side exit, so feel free to check that out. Uh, also, if you like the show, we post all the unedited versions on Patreon, so feel free to check that out. Follow us on all of our socials, Rose Battle Chicago. My name is Brian Rowe. Get home safe. Have a great night, everyone. Stephanie Robertson, one of the producers of the show. Uh, she, nor she normally does this. Stephanie, how did you feel about uh, your performance tonight? Oh, my God. Uh, I feel fine about my performance, but as a whole, it was, um, it was brutal, and I wanted to leave the stage. Same. Yeah. Um, yeah, isn't hosting just a bitch? Holy shit. You have to stay up there no matter what. As, as, as shitty as you feel and everyone else feels up there, you have to feel it. You, you go down with the ship. You are the captain of the ship. I am... Um, no, I mean, like, I felt like I, I had my moments, and I did what I could. Like, I, it, was, it was a little hard because the, the, the momentum was lost multiple times, and I felt like I tried to... But it... I think you had some of the biggest pops of the night, some of the funniest jokes. It was just, yeah, it was a weird show, weird momentum. Emma's first couple of jokes bombed, but she, I don't know, charmed her way back into it. But yeah. They, they like her awkwardness. And I, I just, I, I, I'm too hot, I guess. I was, you know, people say I, I'm too hot to redeem myself in any other quality. So, um, whatever. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. I'm, yeah, I don't know. Watch for your. Don't worry, Stephanie, I don't think you're hot. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>